you know, space that we now have, which is an investment in itself in the creative industry. Um, I don't know. I think uh, what we have to understand that um, the, the corporate world has not done justice to creativity. Yeah. Let's be honest. And yet they're the um, biggest beneficiaries. Yes, they're the biggest beneficiaries. And um, for me, I've, my observation mm -hmm. over these past 15 years I've worked in the arts, I've not had a very successful uh, engagement with any corporate company. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, first of all, they, they follow populism. Mm -hmm. Like Chameleon mm -hmm. has numbers. Mm -hmm. Our support is the Balam has numbers. I will support that, and then it it doesn't really do justice to the conceptual creative art that you need to present. Yeah. There are so many great artists here that uh, that could be supported by all these companies that are here, but they don't find value in it because they are always looking at the numbers, mm -hmm. and of course, you know, they kick back. Uh, but the other <laughs> thing, <laughs> the other thing is that when we yeah, look at yeah. the creative people in the in yeah. the advertising agencies, yes, yes. Uh, where they are creative, but yeah. they are not the the, the 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 final decision makers. Yeah. So their creativity ends where the uh, the, the agent wants them to wants it to be. end. Yeah. And you, uh, they are managed by businessmen. Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't work for the for the guy in at Coca Cola or whatever, they are not gonna do what. Yes. They are not gonna accept it whether it's good or bad. Yeah. So that's another thing. And then the third thing I find it sad about the creative uh, corporate world that they have failed is to invest in the future mm -hmm. of creativity, mm -hmm. of, the, of, of where they are benefiting. Mm -hmm. I don't think there has been any company here in Uganda that had said, let us invest in Monster mm -hmm. to train young filmmakers. Yeah. Because they need these filmmakers to make them promotions, right? Yes. They run adverts every day. But have they ever caught mind to say, let's invest in Monster, who is one of the greatest filmmakers here, or the one, the guy on the camera, yeah. to train other young people so that they can learn, so that we don't get this money that they pick every day, take to South Africa, take to Kenya, to make these adverts. Yeah. It's very simple. I don't think anyone had thought about that. But they need to consume. And if they find that the quality is not of what they expect, yes. they shift it. They ship it to South Africa. Yeah. They go to Kenya. So I think they have not done anything. And they, they shouldn't lie you when they said when we've supported Arakeri to come. Who benefits from <laughs> Arakeri's arrival? You know, we've yes, supported yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, Chigunda. Yes, yes, Who yes. benefits from that? Yeah. I think we need to think. They need to think about the future, and the future is not only just uh, you know uh, giving money to an agency to make adverts. It's also investing in institutions, in yeah. training spaces, in capacities, mm. in venues and areas where people can have room and space to learn and be able to add on to what is there. Wow. None of them is doing that. Wow. Musta, mm. your take on that one. I mean, Faisal um, raises very mm, valid points. Those are yeah, very yeah. valid points, yeah. actually, Faisal. Thank you. Uh, but on, when it comes to my, my angle, yeah. I have uh, a 50-50 on, on what Faisal has said. Yes. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of information out there, mm -hmm. as you know, for we creatives to consume, or to any other Ugandan, by the way, to consume. Yeah. I can give you an example of um, of, of, of the, the Start Big Incubator. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's something that uh, we, we registered for this year, mm -hmm. as 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 Ebony Heights, mm -hmm. and, and and we are attending. You know the, the, the course and it's amazing it has opened our eyes to so many things that we did not even think about yeah. even us when we're responding or talking to them we tell them things and they're like oh wait a minute because i think we're the only filmmakers there mm. i don't know if there's any other that has been there before but at least for this year we're the ones there mm. and we're asking them or telling them things that they had not put into consideration especially when it comes to our sort of business yes you know mm. so so it, it, it it's 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 amazing all the, all the creatives should actually think of, of, of such courses. It's wow. free. Okay. You know, it's free and we've learned so much from it. Yeah. Uh, that's one. Uh, two, uh, the corporate world itself have got a way they do things mm. that might not be uh, applicable to most of us in the industry. Yeah. One, most of them want to work with an institution. Yeah. Or let's say a registered company. They want to come to Faiso, and Faiso is 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 uh, is, is, uh, is Bayimba, but they want to talk to him as Bayimba. You yeah, know what I'm yes, saying? Yes. So there's 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 a way they do yeah. their things yeah. because of probably how their structure is designed. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So maybe we also as as creatives we need to have what's the right word? We need to have or to put that effort. Yeah. See ourselves organized. I think that's the problem we have. Yeah. We're everywhere. 
and nowhere. Yeah, and nowhere at the same time. When yeah. Faizo suggests that, hey guys, uh, I have given you a week, come to the island, mm -hmm. let's brainstorm about how we can make these things work. One is going to go like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Actually, it, our idea yes, is not just to allow to get a yaw and you can go to the next or whatever. You see it. So, yes. so we, we've got all these kind of hurdles. And, okay. the, and, and, and I think why the corporates are probably not even coming in to give a hand is because they don't even know where to start from. They don't know where. But anti, for example, if they ask, uh, filmmakers, uh, what do you want? <laughs> where, do, where do they go to? <laughs> yeah. You see what they I'm saying? They have nowhere to go. Yeah, to. I yeah. think they have nowhere to go to. Then, of course, we have UCC. I think UCC, uh, that's one of the yeah, biggest yeah, yeah, hurdles yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's about, um, uh, you know, collect this from these guys. <laughs> yes, not and, and, and that's the process yeah, of the growth. Yes, that's really, yes. really unfortunate. Yeah. But I pray that uh, we sit with them on one table and, 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 and make this work. Yeah. That's why I think probably, and, and that's the biggest reason that's why I think the, corp the corporate department hasn't come to us okay. because we are disorganized. Wow. Yeah. Um, what was the other question? The other question that, uh, what opportunities do they have? Oh, okay, yes. opportunities. Yes. One of the opportunities I gave was, was the Sandvik Incubator. Mm. Those, are, those platforms are available for everyone. Yeah. You jump on them, you, you're going to learn a lot. Secondly, we guys already, as Ebony Heights, we said, okay, what are we adding to, 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 to people on board? But of course, the client has got specifics. Right. I want my team to be trained on A, B, C, D. Yeah. But we've got a whole entire list of people that are willing to come out there wow. and say, hey, guys, most if you get the opportunity for guys who want to learn about lighting, I'm yes. available. Yes. You know, so so we're, we're doing mm -hmm. that already. Wow. We're, the we're, spaces are beginning yes. to give us. Yeah, so, so we're saying we, do, we, we, we did one week. The lockdown came, we gave it a, a space of a week, and then it went online. And it's working out, wow. you know, it's working out. So, so uh, I think the corporates will find us there. <laughs> I think, I think they, need to, I mean, they need also to commit themselves. Thinking is not very easy for everyone. Every time you sit to think about something, some people will tell you that was dumb. You don't have to go through it. And some people will tell you, uh, or oh, maybe, have you ever thought about thinking of something and you don't find a space or where to sit and do something? And maybe even your father doesn't allow you to have the garage at home or even sitting under the tree at home or in the kitchen to try and create something and then they say you are not being sharp you're not thinking out of the box but the problem is everybody needs somewhere and where to actually start the thinking process ladies and gentlemen the thinking space in uganda is very narrow for a creative have you seen these guys who have cornrows walking on the street with a backpack and then everybody thinks that they are mad, they enter a restaurant and everyone says, you know, like Alex Mukuru, please buy you, or something happens. So today on the Creative Industry Talk, we're talking about spaces and places where people who think and create things can go and actually have a place for them to do something. Well, those places are usually not very, very much available. We don't know whether it's only in Uganda, but it seems to be the case in Kenya, in Rwanda, in Burundi, in Africa, in Europe, and everywhere. Young people are often described as crazy people. Discussing and dismantling this topic on the show today are a group of people who have done it. 
ladies and gentlemen, all the way from France back to Uganda. The last time we're saying light on, I just light here. Is Stella Atam? Stella, welcome back to the show. Thank you very much. First of all, um, welcome home. Thank you. I'm happy to be back home. I'm happy to be live in the studio. Yes. Not lights on, left, right, center. Yes. I'm so happy. <laughs> and of course, uh, the judge of camera work in Uganda, <laughs> the judge of film, the judge, the man who set the bar. You know, he appeared on the show last week and uh, I was told that, did you remember that we used to be paid 25,000 shillings for camera work? And uh, we went from 25 to 50,000, from 50,000 to 100,000 to, you know, and then one time Musta chat a wire for everyone on the set and says, going forward from this set, I want 300,000. You don't have it, you don't call me. That's how the camera people started getting being paid. Now we have 500, we have 300, we have 500 and infinity. That's why we call him the judge of camera. Musta, welcome to <laughs> back to the program. <laughs> What an introduction. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then, so you appeared in the show last week and everyone was saying, yeah, 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 you, your description was right. Mosta is really the judge. <laughs> every camera person seems to think that you set the record right for them. But there were many people before you who yes. did camera work. Yes. But we are comfortable at 25,000, including myself. <laughs> 25 k was the, you know, order to pay. But welcome yes. back to the show. Thank you. Thank and ladies and gentlemen, we want to hear a different perspective all the way from Paris. The one and only Noah Robin, who is also, uh, uh, you know, an engineer for... Textile. Dis textile design in, in France. She's a, a student in one of the universities in France. Here with Stella Tal on a project. And of course, she's going to be doing something amazing with Stella. Noah, welcome. Thank problem. you, thank you so much for yes. having me. Bonjour, ça va, Bonjour. ça va bien. Ça va bien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we, we don't want Stella to start the way Stella is sitting. She might start speaking French <laughs> when, when we're here. But we are lucky to have you on the show. Uh, I'm so glad to be here. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And uh, so, guys, this is called the Creative Industry Talk, where we have a discussion about the creativity and the creative minds in Uganda. And today on the program, we want to start this program from a very interesting note. Most of you appear on the show last week, and we're talking about creative spaces in Uganda and the future of the creative spaces in Uganda. Mm. For the very first time in the history of Uganda, we have a creative space, or we're beginning to think of creative spaces. Yes, we've had national theater, we've had the amphitheaters, we have, this is where people go to showcase their work. This is where people go to do the drama and the plays. Those who are in the, you know, acting business. Now, for those who are singing, they don't even have <laughs> places to go <laughs> to think, first of all. Uh, those who are doing camera work uh, found themselves doing it inside their bedrooms. But there has never been a space for somebody to, get, to say, you know what? I want to create something where well, I'm thinking I'm crazy. Everybody is born with the DNA of creativity in them. It is only when we allow them to practice them that they come out. So last week on the show, we've received a no must over 500, you know, responses on um, Facebook Live, on Facebook uh, Messenger, you know, making references. All sorts of emotions came out from the last week's show. Okay. And everybody was talking about the camera. You talked about it. Uh, if there was a space for them to go and sit about the pay of the camera operators in Uganda. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody talked about, uh, you know, they always call us the cameraman. I don't want somebody to ever call me a cameraman. I'm a <laughs> camera operator. <laughs> and they, 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 could there be a space for us to discuss this thing? And most of knows this very well. When you're a camera operator, they say, the cameraman on the show. You, I mean, if you call this gentleman running the cameras here as yes. cameraman, Literally, for a common person, is understandable. But they don't just sit there and hold the camera as a man. They operate the camera. Mm -hmm. So, But there's no space for these people to sit and have a discussion about their fees, yes. about the things they want to do. So that's a recap of what happened last week. Uh, people felt like uh, Faisal talked very well about the issues of um, corporates coming into the show and making sure that, you know, that issue of the basket you brought yeah. here with, with Faisal picked yeah. a big... Uh, you know, feedback, nice. and then um, 
the one that was very interesting was receiving actually and having a phone call with Tony Otoa oh, yesterday nice. and um, the Stanley Bank Business Incubate, Incubation Limited or Incubator Limited had a very interesting review of the show and Tony Otoa requested for, for us to have a, you know, a piece of that and send it to him because you guys were making references and I think that people are beginning to learn a lot from the discussion we had. Oh, Picking from there, Musta. The first question to you would be, what did you learn from the show last week? And how many people talked to you about last week? But just before we get into it, we're going to take a small break. And when we come back, we will dive into that conversation right away. Stay right there. Creative Industry <laughs> Talk will be right back after this break. at the moment mm. are, are struggling to understand the older generation because mm. times have changed. Technology has come in. They have moved on. Yes. We're the ones sitting back and wondering, what is my child on to? TikTok has surpassed what's yap. Mm -hmm. The other one I call, uh, I, I never call it Facebook, it's Bookface. <laughs> Why are you on Bookface? <laughs> Dad, it's Facebook. It is. Me, I keep saying, yeah. I have a foot amongst the millennials. Yeah. I understand the traditionalists. Okay. There's a song in the 60s, by the way, and yeah. then in the 90s, 70s, where they're like, parents don't understand. Yes. Ah, remember Prince? Yes. Yes. I want us to talk about the corporate entities, the corporate society. I mean, the money comes from there to the creative mm. art. Mm. For a long time, while the creative people are thinking the spaces to create this stuff, you know, most ad agencies are run by creative minds. As well. And uh, these creative minds handles big projects coming from big corporations like MTN of this world, the mm. Airtel of this world, mm. and of course there are many others, you know, and NGOs. But quite often they don't quite appreciate the process of creativity. And if the creativity is not paid, is not rewarded by being paid, it becomes difficult for a creative person to even meet the bills of the process of creating or thinking creative, you know, for whatever they are trying to do. How can we with this new invention of the creative spaces now for creative minds, for people who mm. think, for people who write, for people who are thinking, for people who are, you know, inventors, to, to, to now be appreciated by creative people, I mean by corporate people, by people who consume our product. How can we motivate them to say, look, you now need to pay this thing. I'm no longer, you know, staying in my bedroom mm. to create these mm. things. I'm mm. now sitting in this place where it's called an office, mm. where I have a space. The rent mm. built in pay. there, yeah, no, bill to pay is this, and I need to pay this. How do we motivate these people, given this new, you know, space that we now have, which is an investment in itself in the creative industry? Um, I don't know. I think uh, what we have to understand that uh, mm. the, the corporate world has not done justice to creativity. Yeah. Let's be honest. And yet they're um, the biggest beneficiaries. Yes, they're the biggest beneficiaries. And um, for me, uh, my observation mm. over these past 15 years I've worked in the arts, I've not had a very successful uh, engagement with any corporate company. Mm. Why? Because first of all, they, they follow populism. Mm -hmm. Like Chameleon mm -hmm. has numbers, mm -hmm. 
our support is Balam has numbers, I will support that. And then it, it doesn't really do justice to the conceptual creative art that you need to present. Yeah. There are so many great artists here that, uh, that could be supported by all these companies that are here, but they don't find value in it because they're always looking at the numbers. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, they kick back. Uh, but the other thing, <laughs> the other thing is that when we yeah, look at yeah. the creative people in the in yeah. the advertising agencies, yes, yes. Uh, where they are creative, but yeah. they are not the the, the 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 final decision makers. Yeah. So their creativity ends where the uh, the, the agent wants them to wants Indeed. it to end. Yeah. And you, uh, they are managed by businessmen. Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't work for the for the guy in at Coca Cola or whatever, they are not gonna do what. They're not going to accept it, whether it's good or bad. Yeah. So that's another thing. And then the third thing I find it sad about the creative, uh, corporate world that they have failed is to invest in the future mm -hmm. of creativity, mm -hmm. of, the, of, of where they are benefiting. Mm -hmm. I don't think there has been any company here in Uganda that had said, let us invest in Monster mm -hmm. to train young filmmakers yeah. because they need these filmmakers to make them promotions, right? Yes. They run adverts every day. But have they ever caught mind to say, let's invest in Monster, who is one of the greatest filmmakers here, or the one, the guy on camera, yeah. to train other young people so that they can learn, so that we don't get this money that they pick every day, take to South Africa, take to Kenya, to make these adverts. Yeah. It's very simple. I don't think anyone had thought about that. But they need to consume. And if they find that the quality is not of what they expect, yes. they shift it. They ship it to South Africa. Yeah. They go to Kenya. So I think they have not done anything. And they, they shouldn't lie to you when they said when we've supported Arakeri to come. Who benefits from <laughs> Arakeri's arrival? You know, we've yeah, supported yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, Chigunda. Yeah, 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 Who yeah. benefits from that? Yeah. I think we need to think. They need to think about the future, and the future is not only just uh, you know uh, giving money to an agency to make adverts. It's also investing in institutions, in yeah. training spaces, in capacities, mm. in venues and areas where people can have room and space to learn and be able to add on to what is there. Wow. None of them is doing that. Wow. Musta, mm. your take on that one. I mean, Faisal uh, raises very mm, valid points. Those are yeah, very yeah. valid points, yeah. actually, Faisal. Thank you. Uh, but on when it comes to my, my angle, yeah. I have uh, a 50-50 on, on what Faisal was saying. Yes. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of information out there, mm -hmm. as you know, for we creatives to consume, or to mm -hmm. any other Ugandan, by the way, to consume. Yeah. I have got a way they do things mm -hmm. that might not be uh, applicable to most of us in the industry. Yeah. One, most of them want to work with an institution, mm -hmm. or let's say a registered company. They want to come to Faiso, and Faiso is 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 uh, is, is, uh, is Bayimba, but they want to. Talk to him as by him, but you know what I'm saying. Yes, yes. So there's, there's there's a way they do yes. their things yes. because of probably how their structure is designed. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so maybe we also as as creatives we need to have what's the right word? We need to have or to put that effort, yeah. see ourselves organized. Okay, I think that's the problem we have. Yeah. We are everywhere and when nowhere. We, yeah, and nowhere at the same time. When yeah. Faizo suggests that, hey guys. Uh, I have given you a week, come to the island, mm -hmm. let's brainstorm about how we can make these things work. One is going to go like, I don't know if I... I don't know You know what I'm saying? Actually, it's our idea is yes. going to just to take a yeah, yeah. 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 uh, Whatever, you see it. So, yes. so we, we've got all these kind of hurdles. And, okay. the, and, and, and I think why the corporates are probably not even coming in to give a hand is because they don't even know where to start from. We don't know where From that break we are uh, talking about creative industry and creative spaces in uganda you have heard from that small break when musta was talking about you know corporate companies learning from the creative minds themselves while we set up these creative spaces and you've heard from Pfizer talking about they need to join in now 
So as a corporate company, you don't want to come much later when we have moved many steps forward. Faisal said you will find no space in our creative spaces <laughs> <laughs> to create your work. <laughs> so Stella, Faisal, and uh, no welcome back to the program. I want to just go straight to uh, Fai, I mean, um, uh, Musta from where we started. Uh, a lot of comments came in for you from last week. What did you learn from the discussion last week? Um, one, I learned that uh, it, it, uh, partnerships are very, very important because we all contribute in different levels and you know things like that. So partnership is key uh, to enable us reach our goals. Yeah, um, it was good uh, you heard from Stanwick. That was an amazing response. So we look forward to having more, more of them come on board. And like I said last week, at this stage, this stage uh, where we are is critical, and uh, it's one of those one of those stages where things need to be aligned. You know, aligned better for a much better future and better results. Yeah. yeah? So if they come on board, we know that uh, where we find or where we have hurdles. Mm -hmm. We have different teams of people, not just we, the creatives that thought of the plan. Because you see what happens is this, all these things that most of us as creatives do have come up as a hobby. Yeah. And we hobby people are very hard to, 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 to govern, if I may say. Yes. Creatives are not the type of people you'll say, uh, come, let's sit here, and they all come. You know, everyone, everyone has an independent mind. We all think differently. So maybe the corporate companies or agencies, or organizations yeah. like Stanley could come yeah. and, and, and teach us or show us a way of uh, doing this or thinking in a business manner. Yeah. It's very, very important. There's nothing as odd as you having uh, very good works out there, yeah. but you're so negative financially. Yeah. These things kind of like have to balance. <laughs> very, very important. I'm telling you. Yeah, you know, yeah, like your yeah. name is all over the place, yeah. but unfortunately, you don't probably look the part or anything. So it's very important that yeah. when they come on board now, that they also teach us, like I was telling talking yeah. about the study how, to say how, how we guys you know went there and we've learned quite a lot from yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, so this is us now trying to balance the hobbies that we have and trying to see that the we bank balances yes. yeah we yeah. monetize or, or you know or get the skill of, of looking at it as a business. Yeah. You know? So I learned that a lot, okay. and we still we we're, were still in that learning process because this is the gap for that. This is the space for that. Wow, you know. So anything beyond this, then it will be hard for okay. for them to come. Then that means we have to go back and realign a couple of things, yes. which then becomes a problem. Okay. Yes. And uh, when you came on the show last time, you were still in prison. Uh, you are now free from free prison. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You got us free from prison. Yes. And Stella, welcome to the program. We just want to um, have a small, you know, part from you. You watched the show last week. Uh, if you did, if we are not running, we are talking about creative spaces. What do you think about creative spaces in Uganda, Stella? The new idea that there is a place I can go to as a creative mind and sit and create or go to, for example, you are Stella, you find a, a place with a, you know, a table already put there for you. You have a paintbrush already, everything is set there. You're just going to enter. You don't have to think about, uh, I need to get 5K to buy this thing or 10K or 20K. Mm -hmm. The monsters of this place, of the creative spaces as inventors, have already put this place, these things in place. All you're going to do is sit, paint your thing, try your ideas there before you can go out and actually make it bigger. What do you think about the idea? I think I like the idea and the fact that you, before we had the National Theatre, mm -hmm. but then uh, the National Theatre, it was just uh, a plain place given to us behind. There was nothing actually like um, maybe materials for different creatives. It was just an empty space. But then um, if we come up with the spaces, like uh, he said, he's creating one, he's created one. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very good a way of helping out the creatives. And if it is already installed with everything, all the equipment that is needed, yeah. I think it's going to attract and it's going to make, motivate a lot of creatives mm -hmm. to think even more, yeah. think out of the box. Yeah. Personally, I hate working from home, much as I have my studio at home. Yeah. But um, if I'm not on the machine, if I'm just doing my other work, like sketching, yeah. I really want to be outside my house. 
because I need that thinking outside my house. I need, it gives you like a lot of creativity when you're in this space that is, you see a lot of things around you and your mind definitely changes. There's more of thinking, okay, I wanted to do this, but with all this around me, it gives me more opportunity. And the people you find there, you share like knowledge. Yes. You That's help each other. Mm -hmm. And that helps us like to grow and perfect and become more creative because yeah. we have like assistance of other mindsets behind yeah. us. Wow. I wanted to go to France, uh, to my little sister from France, mm -hmm. Noah. You are a creative mind straight out of France. Yeah. Are there creative spaces in France? Yeah, yeah, sure. How do they look like? I mean, there is like different uh, creative space. I think they're like the technical creative space where like it's kind of like workshops where, for example, if you're a photographer, you can go develop your films mm -hmm. or if like you build chairs or furniture, you can mm -hmm. go and people help you to cut your materials or blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And there is the other place that is more um, co-working spaces mm -hmm. with artists, like artist workshop where like some artists rent a big space and they all have their little studio mm -hmm. and they work to their own stuff and they communicate a lot between them. Wow. So, t yeah, I will say like there is the technical part, part this, yeah. and the more like um, A creative thinking, space, but thinking but yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. And so, um, how long have you guys had this thing? We're talking about the, you know, creative spaces in Uganda and all across the world. We're going to share ideas mm -hmm. on this show, learning from you coming mm -hmm. from France into Uganda and learning from Musta. Uh, we won't Stella, you already stole Stella. Stella now lives in France, so... She can add to my story. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So we can't pull her back now, but we want to hear from you. So how long have you guys had these kind of spaces that uh, creatives go to? Um, I mean... Uh, it's. I just realized that those spaces exist when I started to be a student. So it's been like five years ago. I realized there is those space that exist. Mm -hmm. But I think like um, co-working, for example, like where like it's actually industry that decide to buy a space yeah. and make like offices for people to come work, like open offices. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that is kind of new. Yeah. Like I would say four, yeah, four years ago, because it's like going into a little bit the American way of yeah. like uh, open space, yeah. people like sharing IDs yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, there is this uh, big, um, big, um, how to say, like project mm -hmm. that is like called the Fab Lab. Yeah. So it's fabrication laboratory, yeah. like that's the contraction. Yeah. And this is spaces like that looks like association where people come and there, there's like all the machine they want for working. Mm. Yeah. Like for example, a 3D printer, yeah. Or like, uh, I don't know how to say in English, but like you have like a uh, um, wood board and you want to yeah, like... Wood carving. Oh, wood carving. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. So all those machines uh, and there is like um, one or two people that know how to use those machine, and you come with a project like, okay, I'm Noah, I want to make like a chair. Yeah. And you're like, okay, that's the, the wow. way... Yeah, and they yeah. just help you to... So Do it's your chair. idea, they yeah. just help you to use the machine yeah. and cut and make the chair yeah. that you've designed and come with? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow. Most there's, there's actually something like that, I think, here. Yeah. There's, there's one of these spaces as well. Um, is it Design Hub? Design Hub. Design Hub, Yeah, yes. Design yeah. Hub, I think, has, something, yeah. Yeah, has okay. something similar to that as yeah. well. Okay. Where, different, uh, where other creatives yeah. uh, say uh, woodworks and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Recently, I also saw a video. Uh, I think Swans opened up, teamed up with, uh, with them, mm -hmm. and they opened up, uh, I think, a recording. Yes. Is, is yes. it something to do with recording, yes. recording studios? Yes. Like yes. That? Yeah. Something to do with audio. Yeah. Yeah, so there's these kind of partnerships, and that kind of format is here. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, Design Hub is doing something like that. Really. Okay. That, yeah, so okay. I, I guess Uganda is literally almost there. Yes. <laughs> 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 we're, we're, yeah. we're not being like, yeah, <laughs> lot. The, the last time we had, uh, the last time we had, um, uh, what's the name? Uh, the, the, <laughs> not the lady from uh, the French Embassy. Mm. Uh, she said, Lucille. Lucille. The last time we had Lucille here on the show, Lucille said that they've actually realized that some of the things that we have in Uganda here they don't have in France. And yeah. you said it looked like you guys are actually way ahead of us yeah. in some of these things that's the true. creative industry in and the cultural mm -hmm. industry mm -hmm. seems to be way ahead of us in certain areas. Mm -hmm. But maybe when you're 
just not being exposed to, you know, go through it. But I want to go back to uh, Noah briefly because mm -hmm. we want to learn from you. We're talking about creative spaces, you know, in Uganda and across the world. And particularly, Noah, if I am uh, a young person mm -hmm. like you, and I, they say young people are usually very crazy, they have too many ideas. Most are saying mm -hmm. that uh, you just see us with our backpack moving around. Mm -hmm. You don't understand us, we enter the restaurant, you think we are mad. But <laughs> in that mad mind of mine, I'm trying to think about something. I want to create something. Mm -hmm. And I don't have the money for the space, but I have these things in my head. Is there that space in France that I can just walk to? and sit, which is not co working space, but a place that I go, they have everything, I just sit and then think for like two hours or three hours without me thinking of rent or mm -hmm. you know, something. Mm -hmm. it, it, does it exist? Like you mean if you're like a, a student? Space for, a space for me Every as a creative, space. just allow me to think within okay. my own mm -hmm. space without me looking over my shoulder and you know, somebody yeah. says, excuse me, please move or something like that. I think like when you're a student and you're in a school, there is like places that are like created for you. Yeah. But if you're not in school and you just like want to create and just like think, like mm -hmm. not being pro in practical like creation, like yeah. not like, you know, like. Yeah, because you're going to have to think about it yeah. before you go to the machine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but also to add on that, yeah. like um, in the middle of Paris, the middle of Paris, has a lot of spaces, free space for everyone who wants to come and do the creativity. Okay. There is room for everyone. You just come, sit, do your thing. There is mm -hmm. internet. There is all mm -hmm. the things you need. Okay. And there is also this big um, library. We call it uh, yeah, yeah, a library. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is like uh, the library of the Saint Pompidou. That is the museum yeah. of like contemporary art, and they have like this big library where there is like a lot of books and a lot of like. People so I can go there and work. do research, do yeah. my research on projects yeah. and stuff like that. There is computers with internet access, yeah. books from like, I don't know, like there is so many books. <laughs> <laughs> so and most I hear can, yeah. uh, you know, say That's I want to go and do a That's read about the, yeah. you know, film and yeah. do this yes. film and how people here do their stuff and their books are, are there. Yeah, yeah, there is like on biology, on cinema, on every topic you want, yeah. like that's crazy. And wow. sometimes I go to do some research and you can see it. Spend like all your day here, yeah. it close at 10 or 11 p.m. So you can stay like long time. Wow. So and even nice. in, the, in the museums, yeah. artists are allowed to go and you can go with your paints, you sit in the museum and then you do your painting. Wow. You are allowed to do that. Uh, don't, I'm not sure if you can try that in a museum in Uganda. Let me ask Musta, Musta, do we have such spaces in Uganda? Where um, I, I don't think Before you get uh, abandoned up by a security <laughs> guard. <laughs> no, no, I don't think we're at that level yet. I don't yeah, think we're at that level yet, but I think that sounds really interesting. Yeah. That actually has caught my eye when, it, when she mentioned about books and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are literally very good things to have for research purposes for the people mm -hmm. that walk in. Yeah. And uh, like I said, most of the people that are coming into, I'm really thinking a lot about the people that are coming into the industry. The yeah. young guys that are new. Yeah. Uh, like I said before, their, 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 their creativity, their art is literally in a different, yeah. quite different from, you know, the way we do things or yeah. the way we think about things. Yeah. Um, yes, so, so ideally, I love that part, and maybe because of partnerships, all yeah. that will be possible. Yeah. If, if, if we can have, like, the French Embassy coming on board, for example. Yeah. And, Alliance and, and, Francaise. Yeah, Alliance Francaise, you know, and, and, and have things like that, you know. Yeah. That, 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 that's why I say partnerships will mm -hmm. literally get us there. Yeah. You can imagine uh, when you come to do your thing, there's books. Mm -hmm. So as you sit with your partners or people that, that, are in the same mi that have the same mindset that you have, yeah. mm -hmm. you've got something to run back to and say, hey, uh, if you read book ABC, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, you've got a reference there mm -hmm. and things like that. That's mm -hmm. really amazing. Mm -hmm. I love the part of the books. Okay. That's, that's something true, yeah. that I think you can you create connection well. with yeah. people there, like because mm -hmm. they re they're on the same, like reading the same kind of books as yes, you. Exactly. You talk to them yeah, and, 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 and you make connection to yes. for like working. Yes. And with our books, actually, we have the mini libraries in the parks. Mm -hmm. So every oh, yeah. park oh. is a library. Okay. You go pick a book, you read. Uh, the parks here is a different thing. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, we have like buses. Please tell us more about the parks here. <laughs> <laughs> they are moving um, yeah. libraries. 
Mm? They are oh, moving mm -hmm. like oh, the bats. Yeah, yeah that's, bats. Nice. that's like uh, some designer that create like kind of boxes where you put the books you don't want anymore, and uh, you as like a walker, you can choose okay. a new book okay. to you get. Can just search, pick on the book that I'm Oh, reading. yeah. Books so you don't throw. Yeah, yeah. So you don't throw. So the I'm book done with this book, and yeah. then yeah. Yeah. Away, you just get it there. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I would like to pick up on that. Yes. Just like you have just people who literally say they post. Uh, we've got this orphanage, yes, yes. if you've got clothes you're not yes. using anymore, yes, yes, shoes yes, or yes. Yes. I think this would be one of those things that we could probably mm -hmm. try out for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll try out for. Yeah, uh, like I have some books that I've read that would want to pass it on to yeah, others exactly. and just drop it there and then I, get books from I others. I think yeah. just like we talked about the basket yes. from mm -hmm. the corporates, I mm -hmm. think we should do that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, and especially then, um, when we're creating yes. space. Also, there is um, every like municipal the mayor organizes for like a bus, a yes. reading bus. So you basically go to the um, to the library, pick a book, and then there is a bus. You move around the city reading, and then after when you finish, you it's like a one mean. hour touring uh, and while reading. Uh, so that could be like a sequel of the photographers. Yeah, yeah photographers. Go around, take pictures. pictures and stuff like mm. that. Yes, uh, talking about pictures, you yeah. know, recently. Yeah. You know, a, a couple but, but before you go there on the pictures, uh, <laughs> fine, I mean, <laughs> I almost that. Uh, I just want to pick from you. Do you think this idea is good for us that? Here, the guy might make might take off with the whole book in the bus and don't come back. <laughs> no, it's a bus organized by. It could be it, it, by it, it, standard bus. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And yeah. That goes back yeah. to what yeah. you're yeah. talking about, yeah. about yeah. to uh, you know turn your time. But mm. I mean, I think this the corporates are really mm. learning something from us. Yeah. They yeah. should be paying us for this show. Yeah. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because they make good ideas. Yeah. Having an empty and bus tour, reading yes. bus. Yes. Yes. The, the, the things like that mm. usually help, and like she said, yeah. she, she she works home, but she mm. thinks better when she's not in that yes. zone. You so so Musta, why don't you you know come up with an idea with like mm. say you who have just come out from the business standing incubator, uh, incubator limited mm. Mm. to come up to state a bus and we let's do mm. a bus test up here in Kampala and learning from these guys uh, that would you be know, awesome actually facilitated mm. by that would by be, the that would be, by the would space. be awesome yeah. and these are the kind of talks we we're, we're, we're having yeah or that we are set to, to to have yeah we've got actually quite a lot of ideas that. But I, I love that. The, the, now that is uniting two things. Of you do things, you're touring at the same time, yeah. and at the same time you also have the partnership with the corporates, mm -hmm. and then you're also doing it differently. Yes, two things already. So that's yeah. that. Those are some of the things we need to discuss okay. with the uh, with the corporates, mm -hmm. and then you know have things like this come on board. All right, it would really be awesome. I remember some time back. Yeah. I, I love doing phone, phone photography. Yes, you can get into the photography. Yeah, part, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. phone photography. I, yeah. I move around. Uh, people that usually go to my Facebook page will see, uh, you know, Prince of Wakanda. They will see uh, I'm shooting. I've got a shoot in, in, in Bor in southern Sudan. I've got a shoot in Juba. I've got a shoot in SA. I've got, you know, in Uganda, different places. And yeah. all these places I visit, you know, I tend to want to take pictures. So recently, after a very long time, I was, uh, I was having, <laughs> I was taking a walk with my wife. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it had been ages since I last went to like Chikuo downtown, mm -hmm. the, the taxi park. This is in a 42 uh, lockdown. No, 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 no. This is like two years ago before okay. this whole mess okay. came around. Okay. And then as I was busy taking pictures, you know, everything was just wow with me. Oh, this is good. A couple of years, this was, you know, a couple of years back, this wasn't there. So I'm busy taking pictures as usual. Yeah. <laughs> and then my wife taps me, uh, Mr. Someone wants to talk to you. Like, ah, who is this? So I turn back, yeah. and there's this uh, police officer, you know, in 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 uh, in, 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 in uniform. In, in, no, I'm not in uniform. And civilian. Then, yes, civilian. Because then, and then I'm like, okay, yes, sorry, uh, what's up? And then she tells me, ah, sorry, uh, who are you? What are you doing here? Allowed to take pictures. And I'm like, what do you mean I'm allowed to take pictures? Mm -hmm. I do photography everywhere I go. I pull out my phone and take pictures. Experience, it's called experience yeah, photography. So what, yeah, so what do you mean I'm not supposed to take pictures? Yeah. No, but we don't know who you are. But I'm like, everyone in this town has, has a phone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you going to Mobile. go around literally arresting people taking pictures? And, all? and besides, I, I'm doing it for a good purpose. Yes. You know, it's not like I'm taking a picture then I'm going to go and this. Yeah. No, I'm doing it because I love it. I just love showing people our city, you know, and whatever is happening. I yeah. love you guys at the raw way it is. Yeah. You know? yes. So anyway, long story short, uh, did they smash your phone? No, 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 no. I was taken to to to, to the, 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 the police post. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and uh, uh, the, 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 the OC 
asked me to to, to go in. Unfortunately, I can't even fit in that uh, yeah. kiosk. Yeah. Uh, and show the pictures. Yeah, we locked up inside. No, no, no. Yeah. To go and talk to the OC. Okay. Okay. And, 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 and I, I, I just asked him politely to come out because he can't literally fit in. You can imagine a situation. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, <laughs> so, so, of course, he thought I was being rude yeah. and all that. Yeah. But yeah. when he yeah. came out, he realized yeah. that I actually yeah. can't. Yeah. You're a giant. You can't enter. Yeah. So I, I told him. I even had to open my Facebook yes, yes. page, show him, you know, places he's been to and taken pictures, yes. you know, and, and showcase them. I told him, Chief, if I came here to take a picture professionally, mm -hmm. I would pack a whole truck of yes. equipment just to take a shot. Yes. So this is me just loving back my country. So let's let's let people enjoy and yes. you know, just like you can go to all these tourist tourist sites mm -hmm. yes. and take pictures. I, I, I think it's one of the ways we can literally tell the world about you know, uh, positively about about you. Know, wow. Yes. Well, guys, I want you to hold it right there. We're going to take another break, and when we come back, we want to look at uh, some of the pictures we have taken from the last communication, last show here, when we talk about creative spaces and the future of creative spaces in Uganda. We have some of the pictures coming from the the U Ebony place. Uh, you know, the hub uh, in the, in the industrial area, in right here in Kampala. You'll be able to see it all across the world. And of course, we want to check out the Lumkulu. Faizo Chiwewa is teaching today. He's not going to be with us, but we have um, Noah here from France. Flo from France here. She's going to do some photography. She's also going to tell us some more about how the spaces in France is actually turning out for the young people. If you're 25, 20, you know, below, something like that, and here they don't give you space, <laughs> please, you need to, you might want to listen to Stella Tal and Noah and Musta in this, you know, show. Otherwise, We'll be right back after this break. This is the Creative Unity Talk. Are struggling to understand the older generation because mm. times have changed. Technology has come in. They've moved on. Yes. We're the ones sitting back and wondering what is my child on to? TikTok has surpassed what's yap. Mm -hmm. The other one I call, uh, I, I never call it Facebook, it's Bookface. <laughs> Why are you on Bookface? <laughs> Dad, it's Facebook. Yes. Me, I keep saying, yeah. I have a foot amongst the millennials. Yeah. And I understand the traditionalists. Okay. There's a song in the 60s, by the way, and yeah. then in the 90s, 70s, where they're like, parents don't understand. Yes. Yeah, remember Prince? Yes. I want us to talk about the corporate entities, the corporate society. I mean, the money comes from there to the creative mm. art. Mm. For a long time, while the creative people are thinking the spaces to create this stuff, you know, most ad agencies are run by creative minds. As well. And uh, these creative minds handles big projects coming from big corporations like MTN of this world, the mm. Airtel of this world, mm. and of course there are many others, you know, and NGOs. But quite often they don't quite appreciate the process of creativity. And if the creativity is not paid, is not rewarded by being paid, it becomes difficult for a creative person to even meet the bills of the process of creating or thinking creative, you know, for whatever they are trying to do. How can we with this new invention of the creative spaces now for creative minds, for people who mm. think, for people who write, for people who are thinking, for people who are
Welcome back to the program. This is the Creative News Talk and today we are discussing the spaces in Uganda, creative spaces in Uganda and across the world. And on the program is Musta, the judge of uh, camera work in Uganda. <laughs> That's a very interesting title. <laughs> yes. And of course, uh, Stella Tal, we are about to now call her the grandmother of, um, of fashion, fashion. <laughs> in Uganda because she has has come with um, you know Noah here, who is a well, the child. Yes, yeah. the child. So that <laughs> <laughs> well, but uh, guys, welcome back to the program. We want to go back to that situation of photography. How is it in France? Uh, you said you love photography yeah, and uh, you are into photography. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can you hold your phone and you go around shooting the city like this and then uh, not be arrested? Yeah, I mean, like the only time I had problem with like photo and being arrested was in the countryside mm -hmm. when uh, I was taking photo of like a private property and just the, the guy like get out like, hey, don't take a photo <laughs> of my home, <laughs> basically. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. the only problem I had because in Paris, for example, everybody is on their phone taking yeah. photo all the time. Like yeah. there's just too many stuff happening for yeah. people to be like, Hey, stop. And I think also that we're allowed to take whatever we want. Yeah. Yeah, wow. I feel like. So, um, the, how is the situation like with um, the space and the creative space in France between the young and the old? Here, uh, we, 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 we don't see in the same direction. We kind of like have a parallel line. Okay. The young people see it from here and then the older people see it from here and sometimes the young people trying to express themselves as the creative is taken as being um, disrespectful to the old okay yes is it the same thing in france i think that uh, in france for example like for the education of like art and creative um, creative okay. things in yeah thinking yeah. in general like yeah. there is like teachers that learn and that there is like this kind of like position of being like taught mm. like how to think, how to be creative. Yeah. So there is a good like um, relationship after young people. How to th think? You are taught how to think and to be creative? Yeah, kind of yeah. like they, I mean, you have your own like expression yes. as well, but like they help you to refine yeah, like your yeah. ideas yeah. and like your process. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because they have experience wow. on how to Mentorship do that. Mentorship managers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool, actually. Okay. Yeah, but Probably there is still the young people being a bit rebellious. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's their nature. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there's that age where you are and you feel like this. Even, is even, no, even no. here, there's some young guy who will be very rebellious with uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We meet them every day and yeah. tell you, no, 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 no. I'm not going to set the camera that way. So it's, yeah. it's, and, and it's good that, that, that actually that's happening in France because then yeah. um, most of us talk these things out of experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, so at times when I say something, yeah. it, it's not that I don't like what you're doing, but yeah. I'm probably just aligning you to do things right at an yeah. earlier stage. So that you don't mm -hmm. fall in the pit where you're Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. that, that's really amazing. Okay. And I, f yeah, I feel like the creative space is rich, uh, it's more rich when there is like different ages, so yeah. like everybody yes. can yeah. share yeah. also their, mm. okay. like on a wild, uh, I think. Uh, wow. Uh, Stella Tal, you are now a teacher in France, yeah. and the last time you were on the show you told us you, you feel like you have now forgotten about your brand. Mm. Yes. Have you created a creative space in your sitting room with your children for other people to come in, you know? What are you doing? Actually, my home is always open to everyone. Mm. Uh, those who want to learn how to sew, those who want to do like fashion business, it's open to the communities. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the people in the communities who want to learn how to sew but they don't have access, it's yeah. open to them. And then I'm working with the mayors mainly because mm. all the mayors have, they want to create something mm. for the community. They want to create spaces for the community. Mm. And they are like competing to see which municipal is better than the yeah, other. Yeah, so so usually vibe. they create these uh, create spaces yes. for like artists. There is a place where I was for like three Mr. months. Mr. Can you please uh, text uh, our Lord Mayor? Because this <laughs> <man>. <laughs> What's no, the is, is, uh, we need this? Yeah. There is yeah, this yeah. Uh, place yeah. where I was. 
and the mayor basically took the main street mm -hmm. from the um, Mary, uh, yeah. from the municipal yeah. <laughs> to maybe like one kilometer. Yeah. And all the tenants were evicted, all of them, and said this is a place for the creatives, wow. the photographers, fashion designers, painters, what. Wow. And if you're a photographer, he installed a studio for you. Those who are doing ceramics, there was a place for them Section to do, them well. yeah, with the machines yeah. to do the wow. glazing and wow. so on. Wow. Fashion designers, everything is there with that. Sewing machines, painters, everything is there. Yeah. So like, we owned like all the apartments on the street. And then mm -hmm. there was a main one, which was like a meeting place. Yeah. And that meeting place, it had an internet cafe. Yeah. He bought uh, like coffee machines for the fashion, for the creatives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it was upon us to make sure that on Monday, mm -hmm. People would come in, the public, yeah. to buy the pieces, yeah. to move a showroom, yeah. but then you serve them coffee, they buy coffee, that wow. would help also. You maintain the place yeah. and all that. Wow. So you say, okay, Monday morning, it's me and you, we're going to serve coffee. Tomorrow, oh. it's you and you. So you so learn how to be a barrister exactly. and to do the service. Exactly, yes. Wow. People would come in and like, oh. Even management, mm -hmm. yes. you know, how to attend to people. Yes. Yeah. People possible. are like, oh. Can you come and work for us? I'm like, no, I'm not a bum. <laughs> <laughs> you just bought yeah, my business. Yeah. <laughs> this is a space for creatives. Yes, 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 we actually yes. not, we're not working for anyone. Wow. Oh, nice. That's, that's quite super. So, so the, that's what we're talking about here. Creative space is what we're talking about here. If you're a creative, are you getting some ideas from what Stella is talking about here, from what Noah is talking about here, from what Musa is talking about here? And we want to hear from you. Do you have something that you want to say to these people? Do you have a question just before we share with you? I want the guys to put up the topic of the discussion of the day up there as we, you know, go back to that moment. We're talking about uh, creative spaces in Uganda and across the world. And so what Stella just talked about makes a lot more sense. But, Musta, yes, we yeah. have had a run of, uh, you know, grazing everything down and grading everything down and running everything down in Kampala. But I'm hearing from Stella that in France, mayor took off 100 meters, evicted everyone. If you try that in Kampala, I think you'll be dead before you try it. <laughs> <laughs> Even dreaming a moment. Yes. Uh -huh. But what lesson do we pick from there? What lesson are you picking from there? You as an investor in the creative space in Uganda at the moment, as a, one. As a pioneer. Yeah. One, go back to the same thing partnerships. Those that are in to these kind of institutions, places, positions, yeah. even from the government line, yeah. let them come. Because at the end of the day, this is us. You get it? Last time we talked, when we were here with Pfizer, we talked about them trying to implement these things, yeah. yet they don't have the expertise or experience to do them. Yeah. So they come up with them and then two, three months down the road, it has drowned or yeah. has sunk simply yeah. because they are not the ones supposed to do these kind of things. So, if we are investing in them right now, the best thing they can do is to come and partner with us and see how we can make these things happen. Yeah. And it should happen at this stage. I'm going to insist on that at this stage yeah. because then they will have uh, they'll, they'll take back reports and say, "Hey guys, next year's budget, we should put A, B, C, D into consideration." Because there is an industry that is really, really growing, it is growing fast. Uh, uh, Uganda is, is, is Uganda the country that has the biggest number of uh, youth. youths? Yes, yes. yes. We have the biggest number of uh, the youngest population in the world. See, so I mean, five years down the road, what's going to be happening? So, come in now, come on board now. Let's brainstorm about all these things now at this stage. Yeah. From every level, the government institutions, the embassies that are, that support arts. You know, uh, any other person yeah. out there that feels like this concerns us, the corporates, you know, let's come now. Let them come and, and give support to we who have uh, literally sacrificed the little we have yeah. to see that an industry grows. It, it's, it's, it's tough, but guess what? <laughs> it has to be done. <laughs> and if yeah, we have yeah. decided to, to start doing it at this point, despite yeah. what we're going through, yeah. I can imagine what would happen if they came on board. Wow. We would have that kind of uh, setting, for example, where, where people just walk in and you look left, right and center, there's just creatures all over the place. Yeah. You know, And they're there because they're not worried about uh, where we're going to get this rent from this month, yeah. where we're going to, you know, things like that. Like I was talking to Stella a few minutes back, 
and she, she was talking about uh, people coming in and doing um, what did you call it? Like, like from the universities, yeah. internship. 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 Yes. We, we would have. We, I would love to do internships for the guys that are coming in from the universities or film school. But guess what? You know, they come in and then you can't sustain the place. Yeah. You know. So, if we have these partnerships, then I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just. I'm just going to make sure that we have as many creative uh, elements or juices coming out of us to make sure that we spread them all over these young guys. Yeah. And we have an elegant, beautiful industry five years down the road. Wow. Yeah. And for me, I think yes. uh, the best way to do this, it's going to start with the mayors. Make sure that in all your places, they have this creative space for their community. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be very, um, it's going to be very easy for you, for me, to go and work with a space that is being given by the mayor or the municipal, yes, yes. forever MPs, mm. and it's going to be very easy for all these companies, Standbit, uh, MTN, to come and work with a space that is already there, yes. being given yes. Mm. Yes. for free, because they have access to free places. If MTN or Standbit, they want to open up a space, they have to pay rent. But why can't we work with the government, have these spaces provided free, yes. and then from there, we are going to have all these to grow the, people, yes. even like um. uh, the, the embassies. They can help, but they can't start from scratch. No, they have, have to something start. In Yes, place. they have to find these these places in you know around already. Yes, yeah. So exactly. after that, the seriousness. Okay. Um, I just wanted to take one more break, and when we come back, we want to discuss uh, you know something very interesting, but also taking comments and uh, you know questions from you guys. We want to look at the creative spaces in Uganda. We have some pictures to show you, and we want to show you how the U Ebony place look like and. Um, U Heights, sorry, mm. Ebony Heights actually. I keep yes. changing the. <laughs> no, no, it's no. like it's like these guys of uh, you <laughs> see the Garden and Garden City. <laughs> yes, yes. So, but yeah, yeah. I will have um, the Ebony U place or Ebony Heights place mm. uh, to show you, as well as uh, the one of Lunkulu. And of course, we will want to ask Stella Tal and um, you know Noah here to talk about their experiences in France and what we can learn from there. And then we will close the show with. Uh, partnership opportunities. We'll ask Noah here, now that she's in Uganda with Stella, can she come back, you know, to the creative space in Uganda? She's a textile engineer, which means that some of us who are very interested in textile business can actually be part of this. Stella, there, we'll be right back after the break. This is the Creative Industry Talk. at the moment mm. are, are struggling to understand the older generation because mm. times have changed. Technology has come in. They've moved on. Yes. We're the ones sitting back and wondering, what is my child on to? TikTok has surpassed what's yap. Mm -hmm. The other one I call, uh, I, I never call it Facebook, it's Bookface. <laughs> Why are you on Bookface? <laughs> Dad, it's Facebook. Yes. Me, I keep saying, yeah. I have a foot amongst the millennials. Yeah. And I understand the traditionalists. Okay. There's a song in the 60s, by the way, and yeah. in the 90s, 70s, where they're like, parents don't understand. Yes. Ah, remember Prince? Yes. Prince. Yes. Remember Prince? Yes.
him. Yes. I want us to talk about the corporate entities, the corporate society. I mean, the money comes from there to the creative mm. art. Mm. For a long time, while the creative people are thinking the spaces to create this stuff, you know, most ad agencies are run by creative minds. As well. And uh, these creative minds handles big projects coming from big corporations like MTN of this world, the mm. Airtel of this world, mm. and of course there are many others, you know, and NGOs. But quite often they don't quite appreciate the process of creativity. And if the creativity is not paid, is not rewarded by being paid, it becomes difficult for a creative person to even meet the bills of the process of creating or thinking creative, you know, for whatever they are trying to do. How can we with this new invention of the creative spaces now for creative minds, for people who mm. think, for people who write, for people who are thinking, for people who are, you know, inventors, to, to, to now be appreciated by creative people, I mean by corporate people, by people who consume our product. How can we motivate them to say, look, you now need to pay this thing. I'm no longer, you know, staying in my bedroom mm. to create these mm. things. Mm. I'm now sitting in this place where mm. it's called an office, mm. where I have a space. The rent bills to in pay there, yeah, bill to pay is this, and I need to pay this. How do we motivate these people, given this new, you know, space that we now have, which is an investment in itself in the creative industry? Um, I don't know. I think uh, what we have to understand that uh, the, the corporate world has not done justice to creativity. Yeah. Let's be honest. And yet they're the um, biggest beneficiaries. Yes, right? they're the biggest beneficiaries. And um, for me, I've, my observation mm -hmm. over these past 15 years I've worked in the arts, I've not had a very successful uh, engagement with any corporate company. Mm -hmm. Why? Because first of all, they, they follow populism. Mm -hmm. Like Chameleon mm -hmm. has numbers. Mm -hmm. Our support is the Balam has numbers. I will support that, and then it it doesn't really do justice to the conceptual creative art that you need to present. Yeah. There are so many great artists here that uh, that could be supported by all these companies that are here, but they don't find value in it because they are always looking at the numbers, mm -hmm. and of course, you know, the kickback. Uh, but the other <laughs> thing, <laughs> the other thing is that when we yeah, look at yeah. the creative people in the in yeah. the advertising agencies, yes, yes. Uh, where they are creative, but yeah. they are not the the, the 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 final decision makers. Yeah. So their creativity ends where the the, the agent wants them to wants it to be. end. Yeah. And you, uh, they are managed by businessmen. Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't work for the for the guy in at Coca Cola or whatever, they are not gonna do what. Yes. They're not going to accept it, whether it's good or bad. Yeah. So that's another thing. And then the third thing I find it sad about the creative uh, corporate world that they have failed is to invest in the future mm -hmm. of creativity, mm -hmm. of, the, of, of where they are benefiting. Mm -hmm. I don't think there has been any company here in Uganda that has said, let us invest in Monster mm -hmm. to train young filmmakers yeah. because they need these filmmakers to make them promotions, right? Yes. They run adverts every day. But have they ever caught man to say, let's invest in Monster, who is one of the greatest filmmakers here, or the one, the guy on the camera, yeah. to train other young people so that they can learn, so that we don't get this money that they pick every day, take to South Africa, mm -hmm. take to Kenya, mm -hmm. to make these adverts. Yeah. It's very simple. I don't think anyone had thought about that. But they need to consume. And if they find that the quality is not of what they expect, yes. they shift it. They ship it to South Africa. Yeah. They go to Kenya. So I think they have not done anything. And they, they shouldn't lie you when they said when we've supported Arakeri to come. Who benefits <laughs> from Arakeri's ar arrival? You know, we've yes, supported yes, uh, yes, uh, Chigunda. Yes, 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 Who yes. benefits from that? Yeah. I think we need to think, they need to think about the future. And the future is not only just, uh, you know, uh, giving money to an agency to make adverts. It's also investing in institutions, in yeah. training spaces, in capacities, mm. in venues and areas where people can have room and space to learn and be able to add on to what is there. Wow. None of them is doing that. Wow. Musta, mm. your take on that one. I mean, Faisal um, raises very mm, valid points. Those are yeah, very yeah. valid points, yeah. actually, Faisal. Thank you. Uh, but on, when it comes to my, my angle, yeah. I have uh, a 50-50 on, on what Faisal has said. Yes. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of information out there, as you know, for we creatives to consume, or to any other Ugandan, by the way, to consume. Yeah. I can give you an example of um, of, of, of the, the Stan Big Incubator. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's something that uh, we, we registered for this year mm -hmm. as as as, as Heights, mm -hmm. and, and and we are attending. 
you know, the, 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 the course, and it's amazing. It has opened our eyes to so many things that we did not even think about. Yeah. Even us, when we're responding or talking to them, we tell them things and they're like, oh, wait a minute. Because I think we're the only filmmakers there. Mm. I don't know if there's any other that has been there before, but at least for this year, we're the ones there. Mm. And we're asking them or telling them things that they had not put into consideration, especially when it comes to our sort of business. Yes. You know? Yes. So, so it, 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 it's, it's, it's amazing. All the, all the creatives should actually think of, of, of such courses. <laughs>
most as a film um, creator can go a film developer can go to Lunkulu mm. and sit and actually develop a film from there. I think there have been so many people who have gone there to shoot their film. I, I mm. saw some guys came from um, Europe and they've done a skit of a film already there. Mm. Oh. They've done some scenes, uh, shots of the scenes from there. Uh, I've been there to document some of uh, Doa Doa with Faisal in that place. An amazing place. You go catch fish from the Lake Victoria. Mm. You do whatever you want to do with that fish. They grow their cassava from there. Everything is within that island. Organic stuff. Yes. Basically. So organic stuff. So that's Lumkulo right there. That's a creative space in Uganda coming up for you who is a creative mind who is thinking. What do you guys think? Let's talk about this. Mosta. It's epic. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Amazing thought. Mm -hmm. And we pray that all this comes to life. Well. Yes, uh, what does that make you feel like? That makes me feel that it's really, really interesting and in going forward because like, I think that if those places exist, like mm -hmm. it makes like, it's so attractive for people to come yeah. and, mm -hmm. and the place look also like good to be in and I think that it can like create also like, uh, for example, having like Ugandans, yeah. but having one or two spots for like, international students yes. and it makes yeah. it really attractive and yes. people want to go there yeah. and so it's just like put the um, sponsor like also on it yes. and yes. like yes. It, it can just go on like a good circle of yes. like grown yeah grown yes yeah. Yes, yes 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 so it's I growing think it, to be yeah. something better yes yeah yeah because i think that once you have that the sponsor wants to be there and yes. once you have the sponsor you have more money yes. and it's just like yes. to me it sounds Sounds really nice. Like. Wow, wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stella, Tal, uh, what do you think of Lunkulu? Have you been to Lunkulu? Perhaps you may need to take a ride to Lunkulu if you can reach out to Faisal mm. and just eat fish and cassava from I there. Know. Yes. Uh, for me, it looks like a home away mm -hmm. from home mm -hmm. and uh, full of creativity and the fact that he has space for all people, mm -hmm. the children, the big mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't limit you when you go with your family. It doesn't limit your creativity. You have some place where the children will exactly, be exactly, and then they leave you to do what you're doing. Yeah, and the fact that um, he's planning on this international collaborations, yeah. it's really a good space, like to have collaborations with international people, yeah. share ideas, yeah. have workshops. Like she said, we could come, like at school, we just come and then come here, yeah. yes. yeah, and they there. share their knowledge, yeah. like yeah. Uh -huh. each share each, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. That is really amazing. Wow. Having everything That's in one special, place. That's special. Yes. So, like I've never really saw something like I heard stuff about that, but like yeah. you have the space and also the nature around is just yes. so attractive for like creative <laughs> to come. Yes, yes. So I can tell you when you go to Lunkulo you will hear some very weird uh, animal. We were told it's an animal. The thing shouts the whole night. Yeah. Yes, some very interesting <laughs> sound. Mm. So uh, we wanted to go back. <laughs> she might freak out. <laughs> She's interested in birds as well. Yes, yes. Ah, and then okay. there are so many species of birds. So bad people watching. go there. Yeah, so bird watching. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think that's really attractive for yeah, like yeah, yeah. people. Like, yeah. 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 So 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 it's a it's a good place for you to start with and um, for people to come and enjoy. Mm. And uh, guys, I want to take you. That's away from Kampala. So those are the only two spaces we have. Okay. But there is a space in Kampala and right in the studio, Jaja is here, Jaja. <laughs> <laughs> the star. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Musta is here. We want to check out the, um, the, the, the creative hub, uh, you know, the Ebony Heights uh, space, which has just been created. Coronavirus came and found them in the process of trying to make this place look good for all the creatives all across. I'm yet to go there, but yesterday we rolled out a camera to check it out and we want to just ask Musta about it. If you just put that up and I want to just start with you Musta. Mm -hmm. What was going in your mind? Just take us through this entire place. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Um, that, uh, where, I came, where you saw me coming out from is, is literally the admin block. Yeah. Is, is, the, is, is the office itself, yeah, yeah. where we do uh, editing, that's the video section, oh. yeah. And then, uh, as you can see, the camera guy is literally on my case. Yes. And uh, that's the exterior. <laughs> it's not yet done. We've yeah. not yet touched the exterior. We're supposed to have uh, a roof over that as yeah. well, like a shade. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, make sure that people are also sitting outside. 
we've got a totally different concept for the exterior. We want it all green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. people and we can feel see like it. Wow, that's nice. Outside. And this is right here in Kapal. Yes, so it's so we we also have uh, our small cafeteria will also be outside there as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, yes. So that's the beginning. That's the beginning. It's not yet done at all. That's literally like at five percent of what is supposed to be like the exterior. Okay. The interior. That's where we are. Those small cubicles you see there are the different spaces we're looking mm -hmm. at for different sort of So if I come, I can just come yeah, and put my laptop, laptop there yeah, exactly. and just say... Either laptop or even your, even your desktop, yes. you can come yeah. and, and just place it there. Those that want to book for a whole month, those that want to have a week... And that's my crazy daily, space. That's your space right there. Yeah. So uh, you wow. can see we, we have a chair there. That, yeah. that one chair there is a sample okay. of what we are making okay. because uh, the, the level at which they are yeah. is not the usual kind of level. So, so you can actually either stand yes. or okay. sit. Yes. So we had to ca come up with that kind of level, yeah. that kind of height. Yeah, which is because, very good for, yeah, for, 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 for even for, your body, for, you know, for, for, for uh, health and fitness. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, looking at yeah. the, light, the lighting. Yeah. Yes. So yes. then, ideally, the, 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 the design or the deco of this place is multi-purpose. Yeah. We also use it as a set. People that want to come and shoot or film yeah. interviews or whatever this yeah. is also we thought through that process okay. we don't want to, we, we, we don't want it to be to to be only a space where you come and sit and go yeah yeah so we're also doing interviews in there when we so the lighting condition is different depending on what you want to do there so stella tal for example if she wants to do a photograph a photo shoot with um with Noah here, yeah, Noah the, Robin, the, the space is there. there. The space is there. Yes, the space I like the taxi space and I like Ooh, the, yeah. the, the the Kampala road. Yes, yeah, style, yeah. The, that's wow. very important to, yes, to bring yes, it back home. Yeah, right? yeah. Being proud of, yeah. of where you are and stuff like that. Yes. So, so that's and I like the PG. print on the the, the yes the roof the, the, the roof. ceiling <laughs> we've got we've got fabric print on it. Yes, that's just to make sure that you know everything you look at literally keeps you in the zone of being artistic. Yes, yeah. So, so. That's where now this is the big one. Yes. This is the one that sits about twenty-five people. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, is that has, where the American Embassy? Is? Yes, yeah. this, th 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 that's where the workshop was for the for the young writers. Okay, uh, nice. from film two five six. Okay, you know, oh. that's where. That, so there's internet there. Uh, the cafeteria was meant to be done, but yes, you know where we were. So the idea comes from this particular one. This is the old side Ebony of it. Yes. yes. So this is where okay. the idea of the big one came from. Okay. Initially, this whoa, this, this is whoa, creative, whoa, this is whoa. where we think nice. as, a, as so this is like a, a creative suit. Yes. A private creative suit. Yeah. This is the private one. Now this idea of the big one comes from this small one because yeah. the idea this is where we sit as as Ebony Hugh as yeah. the film guys. Yes. This is where we sit and and brainstorm you know clients ideas. concepts mm. a film whatever we're going to be doing ideally. Yes. So we realize that people want to come and sit there and enjoy when they're there. So we said okay. So this is where the big one is born. Wow. Mm, the big nice. hub is born from that small one. Wow. So the That's idea came nice. from that small one and said, let's That's take really the big nice. one as well. Wow. So th that literally means that if we have more space, yeah. mm. we, we are really, really willing to knock ourselves out. Yeah. Yes. And, and talking of that, Musta, there are so many buildings that have come in Kampala now and they don't seem to be futuristic in thinking mm. um, like you're trying to do here. Um, there would be need for many of these spaces to come up in Kampala because most of will not satisfy. Yeah, the yeah, need. yeah, yeah, yes, yes, but, yes, but there yes. has to be something yes. somebody is showing to doing. What does that say about our, uh, you know, property development in Uganda? You know, are they creating with the, these properties are developed with creative minds? The architects are creative minds. Mm, mm, the engineers mm, are creative minds. Mm, the interior designers are creative minds. Mm, the textile designers are creative minds. The fashion designers. I mean, there's art on that wall everywhere you go. What does that say about us? What, where do you see our mind, you know, like three, four, five years from now with this kind of thinking that you're bringing in place, Musta? Um, it's process by process. <laughs> <laughs> Again, they have to see these yeah, things. Yes. People need to see, mm. and once they see, yeah. then they can kind of like find a way of incorporating those yeah. kind of ideas that we're trying to show them into yeah. into their architecture or, you know, uh, or artistic impression, ideas or yeah. concepts. And even, and even people that have uh, the, 
potential yeah. to put up big time inf you know infrastructures maybe it's high time also thought of us yeah. mm, exactly. and uh, yeah and uh, because most of the people that have the money want to do the arcades want to mm. do the shops yeah. it's 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 maybe because of how they get the money to build this thing maybe loans so they yeah. want that quick back yeah. mm. because the bank is probably in their case about paying back and things but like one that. film can but pay one film can pay I know. all of that money yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. now yeah. now what they don't know mm. is that this side of the coin yes there's, it's still quite virgin yeah. and there's a lot of money. Yes, but yeah. they can give us the terrace on top. Have yeah. your building and give us the terrace. <laughs> you see how creative you see how it's how it's it is. It's what I'm saying. For example, think very fast here. Yeah. Yes. How many terraces are even open yes. on these buildings? Yeah. You see, come to think about yeah, it. Yeah, how many? Mm -hmm. You know, we, we don't we, know. We've tried, we have some the yeah, we've tried looking for these things. Maybe, maybe bring, yeah. after they've seen this kind of initiative, yeah, yes. mm. then they'll be like, oh, wait a minute. I have that space on the topmost floor. Nothing yeah. is happening there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's cage it, make it safe, and yeah. let the builders come and utilize it. Because wow. I know so many rooftops. Yes. But even they have locked them and even welded the doors. Mm. Well, I know these people who want to fly over there and <laughs> yes. do some kinds of things. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. But at the same time, maybe on the positive side, these are spaces that we as creatives can use. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, I dive to you, Robin. Noah, Robin, mm -hmm. what no, do you well, think? Yeah. Uh, I think that is really nice and I like the fact that you can work and also have this space of like relaxing and it makes like the it makes you happy to go to work. Yeah, yeah. To go there yeah. and feel like work. Because yes, 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 you yes. know, you can have like a nice like break and you don't like feel only like uh, working. Yes. And I think it's it's really good to have those two space and having a pleasant place that where you feel comfortable and yes. a little bit at home. Kind yeah, of. Yeah, not yeah. really, not yes. really, but... Yes, yes. Yeah. I guess what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You, don't, yes. you, you feel like you're in this zone that is enabling you to do other things and mm. not, not letting you feel like you're actually working. Yes. Mm. That yeah. is how creatives want to work. They Make don't want to feel like you're working. Yeah. 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 Yes. So that's where we are so far. Mm. Okay. And uh, we would love to grow, definitely. We've got a lot of ideas. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we've got that artistic impression of the, of the cafeteria, yeah. um, so we, we, we're, we're getting more space actually mm -hmm. to have the cafeteria, uh, the, the smoking zone, creatives, yeah. yeah, the smoking zone has to be there. We're thinking the way creatives literally think, yeah, yeah? and then it's not only for coming and sitting and, 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 and working per se, yeah. Yeah. it's also for you to come and hang out in the zone where people talk about things that you yeah. do understand. Yeah. 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 Create connection. Yeah, so exactly. for example, I want to understand something about sound. Yes, uh, there's, there's one, two, three guys sounds well is sitting there and then you just want to come and sit and have that conversation. It's, you don't necessarily need to come there and say, I have, I have come to work. In fact, no. we have a sound man no. who wants to send to you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to feel like you're coming to work. Yes, yes, we yes. would like you to come, yeah. uh, just like you go and sit with your friends in the evening somewhere and mm -hmm. just have a cup of tea. Yeah. We would like you to come and sit in this place where people talk about things that you relate with. Yeah, relate to you know. Wow. So that's so yeah. it's literally even for that. Wow. It's not just coming and say, oh no, if I go there, I have to work. No, 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 no. Yeah. Come sit, have a discussion. People have laptops. Cup they're going to show you. Yeah, yeah and if the coffee. atmosphere is like good, the creativity. Yeah, just exactly. They, they, there's creativity juices all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. And then you know? also, like if I have maybe like a contract I'm working on. And maybe I need some information, guidance like guidance from others. Yes. I know when oh, I go to this place, actually, I'm going to meet so and so. That and actually yeah. reminds me. Yes. I, I, I've got a friend called, when you, talk, when you brought about that whole uh, contract thing, yeah. there's a friend of mine, she's called uh, Saad, she's called Asmahani Saad. Yeah. Uh, she's, we, we, we've had a discussion with her before about. She's a lawyer, she used yes. to be my. A health and fitness student. Yeah, she, class. Yes, 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 she, yes. She, 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 she is a friend. Yeah. And uh, a few months back before this, before the second wave actually came in, yeah. she came actually and saw the place. I invited her over, and uh, she's she, she's ventured into law, but in an angle that we creatives need to uh, harness stuff from her, you know, and stuff yes, like that, yes. you know. Yeah. So so it's one of the things we had actually discussed that she could come over. And we invite filmmakers or people mm. that, that are into production yeah. to come and understand how we're supposed to probably lay out our contracts, yes. Yes. to understand how to do things yeah. um, in a lawful manner, yeah. or we, we need to know our safe zones and stuff like that. Yeah. So when you mentioned when you mentioned it, the contracts and all that. Asmani would like to do that for the creatives. Wow. That's great. Yes. Asmani so I, I think Asmani we are beginning. to see, mm -hmm. you see the the coming of the creative space. Mm -hmm is already bringing out something that we were always suffering with, 
which is the intellectual properties, the royalties, how do we Yes, yes. She wants to discuss yeah. all the things with us staff, so we yes, understand them yes, very well. Yes. This is how sometimes when the things are only written yes. and you mm. read them as an article yeah. or in the papers or yeah. on your on your social media platforms, it doesn't sink in. But if you have a person like like Asmani and then you're firing a question directly to her, so yeah. if so and so happen, you know, what do I do? And yeah. you're having that direct answer from a person in mm -hmm. real time, yeah. I think it, it makes you understand these things in a much better way. Wow. Yes. Yes, Stella, um, we want to just wind up the show. Uh, our time is fast spent, but we want to go through to you now, you and Robin, to just take us through your bit mm. of um, the work you're doing right now. It's born out of a creative space in your backyard in France. And uh, unfortunately, we feel sorry that you've now shifted and left us here. I'm here. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> 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 yes, but we want to ask you guys, so from yourself, what lessons can we pick from some of the things that you have been exposed to as far as the creative spaces are concerned in France? And then from her, uh, she's a textile engineer or, you know, engineer? Designer, yeah. Designer and engineer, we'll call it. Uh, how, what lessons can we pick from you? Why are you studying the course? That's number one. Two, what problems do you want to solve in the textile industry? And who do you want to work with? You know, you also said you're in photography. Can you just run us yeah. through very quickly what you want to do and what are you doing in Uganda at the moment? Okay. So actually, so I'm just graduated from my school in Paris yeah. called Ecole du Perret. And um, I'm a photographer and I also like the, the point of what I do is I take it, I'm taking photo mm -hmm. and after once I have my photo, I print them on like different materials. Okay. And wow. uh, I met uh, Stella. Okay. And she had this project with the bar closed. So I started to print my photo on the bar closed. And at this moment, there were like a new materials happening, like this bar closed with a printed image. Yeah. And the way I printed it was with a laser engravering. Okay. So it's like a burning laser that burns the photo through on the material. Wow. Yeah. And, and that would be very interesting for Musta's uh, grandmother who is a gun. <laughs> yeah. I know how you're tampering. Yes, yes, yes. Back clothes. Yes, back clothes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. Continue, yeah. Yeah, and so we, from that, uh, we started to collaborate to make a dress. Yeah. Where, like, uh, Stella do the, um, the style. Yeah. And I do the print. Okay. And uh, so I'm putting myself in, like, I'm doing photography, I'm doing printing, and also I'm working with like other creative. And for example, on this project with Stella, I'm the textile okay. engineer, yeah. but actually I do like different stuff, yeah. I would say. Yeah. And uh, from this dress, we thought that it was interesting to connect like, so my photo, I'm taking like um, landscape, nature photos in yeah. France, yeah. and we print it on the bar clothes. Yeah. And for example, there is tree on the photo and that makes connection with the bar clothes that come from trees. Yeah. Mm. And because the photo like come from France, we thought it was interesting to make this like connection between like the French landscape and yeah. nature to oh, the bar clothes yeah. that represent Uganda. actually yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, have you been have you seen the king already? He just uh, had his twenty eighth coordination bar cloth is um, traditional thing that come from Buganda. Mm -hmm. So it would be nice to hear what the Buganda Kingdom mm. will say about this project. I see it. And this that cultural yeah, that collaboration. Would be, that would be yeah. awesome. Yeah. Have you, Stella? Mm, not yet, but uh, I would love, if I get access, we would love to go and meet him mm. and present our project. But um, actually, when uh, we got into the country, our host was um, the MP in uh, Fort Porto yeah. and uh, Ministry of Tourism. And it's part of uh, Uganda where they also do bar cloth. So because it was our host place, okay. so we decided to do the documentary there because we didn't have access to places in Buganda yeah. where we were supposed to initially do it from. Yeah. So um, I would love to meet the king as well. Okay. I will meet him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. For sure. I mean, um, uh, from from the studio where you are right now, the the second deputy Katikiro of Buganda is not sitting very far away. Okay. Uh, yes. So it's it might be very easy for you to make that connection by quite, okay. quite fast. But yeah, Stella, the question that we want to wind up with today. I mean, you now live in France. You are a fashion designer and a styler at the same time, as well as the visual artist. 
I mean, what lessons can we pick from France, from you that can share with Musta right now, who is sitting next to you, so that we can make this creative space that we have in Uganda more attractive? And you know, how do we bring all these other people we're talking about in? Do you have some, you know, you know, nuggets of truth or ideas that you can share as we wind up the short? I think the most important thing um, I've learned and I think it would work really well with us is um, the collaboration. Mm. It could have this, we could have this space and it's not like everyone has to come there mm. and share the knowledge. But then you could have like sessions, so like Zoom sessions, mm -hmm. whereby you interact with everyone, all the creatives around the world. Yes. You invite people, like today we're going to talk about this. So all the people who are interested in that topic would be online. online some are physically in the room, some the are around. Online, yes. So you share this global thinking. Yeah. And then also it helps us like to have workshops. I would, it would be very easy for me to organize like a group of creatives, maybe musicians, writers, to say, okay, now let's go and visit Uganda. Let's do, go and do a collaboration in Uganda with other creatives. And when we, got, we get to Uganda, we it's know we are home. straight going into this home. Yeah. It's not the things of um, gambling. Now yeah. we call this one, <laughs> when I left France, the phone was on. When I get here, the phones are not being answered. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that is going to make us look professional in yeah. what we are doing. Okay. And it will give opportunities for the young ones, even like those in school, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who even fear sometimes. Yeah. Someone would fear when they hear um, the crap down. Yeah. They say, I don't know, that is a big person. Can't even, how do you even approach yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so it's yeah. this fear. Yeah, that's but then yeah. if you find yourself in the same space, yeah. then that fear gets away. Yeah. And then you, you're able to ask guidance from that person yeah. you think is very superior to you. Yeah. For me, I think collaboration is the main thing we should focus yeah. on. And creative network. Okay. And the yeah. Yeah. Collective network. creativity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, thank you very much, guys, for coming to the show today. I wanted to just give you a parting shot. Um, uh, starting with you, Robin. If is this your first time in Uganda? Yeah. In Africa. In Africa. In Africa, yeah. in Africa yes. as a continent. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And you are landed to the pearl of Africa. Yeah. Straight up. And I went yes. to the pearl of Uganda. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I had the pearl, pearl, pearl. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Yes. But uh, thank you to thank you for coming to the pearl of pearls and pearls of uh, you know of Africa. Uh, your one parting shot, what is that one best thing that you have so far seen from Uganda that when you go back to France, you will tell every student, well, everyone uh, in France to say, this is it, let's go to Uganda and do this. I felt that um, everywhere I've been, people were really open about showing me like their culture yeah, yeah. and like, I don't know, inviting me even here, like I'm so grateful for yeah. being here, like I met, as Stella said, like the Minister of Tourism, of Culture, and that's something that really surprised me, yeah. kind of, because everybody was really open to communicate with me yeah. and show me, yeah, show me how it, uh, oh, their world. Okay, like so you think when you go back to France, you will bring the whole collaboration down to Uganda here? What you mean? When you go back to France, uh -huh, uh -huh. are you going to bring all your friends who are into the creative space and the creative thinking, the creative industry, to Uganda? Uh, I mean, if they want to go, I'd be like, yeah, you should go. <laughs> After I don't know if I'm going to pay for their tickets to go, you know? <laughs> no, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, Alliance France could make a very good contribution to those yeah. students to come and, mm -hmm. you know, learn yeah. from here. Like most have said, mm -hmm. if we have those collaborations going on, that would be good. But thank you very much for coming to the program. And thank Stella, you. what would be your parting shot today? Um... I think uh, this time around, I've come to Uganda, live alone the lockdown. I think there is a lot of uh, creativity coming up, mm -hmm. more than before. Yeah. Things are moving at the first, yeah, that's very, crazy. very yeah. fast. And I'm so grateful. Uh, people, they were not sleeping during the lockdown. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, and I can't see post-COVID yeah, what it's is going to be like yeah. when everything is open. Yeah. Uh, the musicians are allowed to sing, yeah. everyone is free to do whatever they're doing yeah. because there is a law that is being prepared okay. for the after the post COVID. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, Musta, what's your parting shot from today? Mm, my parting shot today, 
Um, just like musicians are receiving uh, help <laughs> <laughs> from the government. Did I you see think. that list of us? Uh, only yeah. 17. No. The, yeah. the Uganda, uh, so. Uganda, old, Uganda Music uh, Stars Association <laughs> of, of only. And I saw the figures there. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So, so ideally, I'm thinking and yeah. suggesting that if, if, if an endorsement can also come up to this particular side of the creative industry, yes, yes, yes. that would be awesome. Anything to keep people's heads up, yeah. uh, especially especially during this time, people are frustrated. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so anything to keep their spirits up there so they can still uh, have those uh, great uh, concepts running through their minds, or even coming down to not them because they are sure that I have a meal today or tomorrow. You know, yeah. things like that. So yeah. maybe they should think of how they can come in as well and. Uh, Give a hand. Wow. That's my part. Wow. Think. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for being part of the creative industry to growing bigger and better. Mosta here, given you that one parting shot that uh, that if you could just, uh, you know, share the invoices with everybody and, you know, reach out to everyone. <laughs> and, everyone <laughs> and of course, until next week, we want to say thank you very much to Mosta and thank you very much to Faizo Chiwewa, Lumkulu and Stella Tal. And of course, uh, Noah for coming into the program today. And uh, we're wishing you the very best of your program, Thank you. of your project going Thank forward. You so and uh, to all of you guys, today we're not going to read your comments, but we want you to keep it coming. We will be able to read the comment next week. And if you have an idea for, Fai for Faizo Chiwewa and Lumkulu, please share it. If you have an idea for Mosta, please share it. If you have an idea for Stella Tal, share it. And of course, my sister from another mother right here, mm -hmm. Noah Robin. If you have an idea, please share it. And she's open for collaborations. To all of us here, to the camera crew, thank you very much. To the sound guy, thank you very much. We love, we're going to buy for you Malakwang. Okay, <laughs> today. And of course, to all of you guys out there, keep creating and keep doing like Stella says. Until next time, we'll be right back here. This is a space for us to talk and talk and talk creativity until the chicken cross the road and go home. <laughs>